Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video here on Akuma MC Prisons. And in this video, we're going to be going over how to actually overload your pickaxe and enchant above the max level. So let's just get straight into it. And we're just going to be upgrading our pickaxe and so much more. We are currently ranked 399. So we are one rank away from the 400 mark. And we are only 30% away from that. So we're definitely going to be getting that in this video. But let's go ahead and open up some of our slash crates for some extra tokens and things like that. So boom, that put us to around 100 trillion tokens already. Ready. so let's open up these vaults too which is going to give us a even more boost on these tokens and i'm also going to open up these skin boxes and okay not any good skins yet okay let me open up the rest of these crates like this and okay so we have some common skin boxes common arm boxes that we are going to salvage for some salvage points and then let's see what else we have okay some more caches let's open up those and some more vaults okay we're just gonna keep opening up those and if we go into the slash salvage we are going to salvage the ranks that we don't need as long with the common and the uh common skin and common armor boxes because we don't need those either and okay so we are going to open up the mythic armor box and the epic armor boxes definitely in the other skin boxes because we, we are currently rocking the shadow clone skin which basically spawns a bunch of player miners and stuff like that and honestly any skin fragment helps so yeah we're definitely gonna open those and we did open every single cash and relic left so yeah that's pretty good and okay so let's, let's start with these skin boxes we have rare and two legendaries and okay let's just apply all of those and then now let's go and open up these armor boxes and hopefully we can get a masterful chest plate i'm pretty sure we need yes we are just working on the masterful chest plate and it looks like we didn't get one of those so let's go ahead and salvage the rest of these armor pieces and maybe we can buy another mythical armor box let's go ahead and see how many salvage points we have and we only have 62 so we can't but we are actually going to salvage the rest of the uh of these um grenades because we don't really need those and let's go with the drills too but we are going to keep the airstrike be uh beacon and let's open up this pet egg and it was a rare dr drill bit so that's not that good but so is that too and let's see how many points we that puts us at uh slash salvage points and okay only 125 we are kind of close but we're not there yet so we did get 176 trillion tokens from that which is not bad at all so yeah we're probably gonna hold on to those for now we could use them later in the video and i'm just gonna go over the stuff so let's just go straight to mine and okay, let me reset it we are one level away so i think if i use these beacons right here we are actually going to rank up so let's just use a few if these and see if we do rank up so we are just rank 399 we just need one rank left and okay and boom we did just get to rank 400 and we have this ornaments tab that popped up we can either get a token boost rank boost pickaxe boost or prestige boost and we do have four ornament points so i think you get them every 100 ranks so let's see what we should put them we have token which boost our tokens like how much we get then we have rank boost which boosts the rank up boostage that we get so it just ranks us up faster then we also have the pickaxe boost which i think we're definitely going to put some into that and then we do have the prestige boost which is not bad but i think we're going to put one into the prestige i mean pickaxe boost one into token uh one into rank and i think i think the pickaxe one is actually a really good one to put into because we honestly really need to level up our pickaxe it is only a 204 so we are kind of behind well i mean okay that is all our ornament points but yeah we're definitely going to take that we did get another tier 20 pouch that we are definitely going to be using to actually get the tokens from that so yeah and it's only 8k blocks so we should get that decently fast which is going to give us a, to a ton of tokens for that now for what you came here for to overload your pickaxe and get above the max level enchant basically what, are you, what you're going to need is shards and the way to actually get that is you go into the gem enchants so you can actually see the shard collector enchant in order to get it you need 1.5 million gems for the first level and we are kind of far from that so we are definitely going to have to grind for that but what basically what you can do with shards if you go into the gang upgrade section there are all of these upgrades and some of them cost heroic shards and i don't know how to get heroic shards but if you go into the max enchant level upgrade it only costs 15 shards and 250 trillion tokens so we have the tokens but we don't have the shards and well actually let me check yeah we don't have the enough shards yet because we don't have the enchant but basically you need 15 shards and 250 trillion tokens in order to increase the max enchant level by 10 which in the max level you could get from this is 100 so i think that's like 1000 increases you could get which is pretty insane and that goes towards the enchants like i'm pretty sure jackhammer vein miner and token merchant so those are all all very very important enchants to have on your pickaxe and, and maxing it out and getting above the max enchant level would actually be very op and the other things you could get in the gang upgrades are things like the gang members upgrade shard collector upgrade which will actually give you more shards i'm pretty sure booster cooldowns rune dupers just all these type of things that are insane like token boost is going to be a good one to unlock too especially the rank progress and the enchant proc boost i'm pretty sure the enchant proc boost might honestly be the best because that just means every enchant is going to proc more which is honestly very very good and if you guys do want you can just 
getting top and people compete for the top and like that's basically how you win but we're not gonna be doing that we basically just have our game just so we could get the upgrades and stuff and if you do want to join make sure to comment your ign down below to join and just say you want to join and stuff like that and i'll definitely invite you when you are on but i am also doing a giveaway for a 20 dollars coupon voucher so if you do want to join that all you have to do is comment your ign and like the video and i will be picking out the winner in a few videos from now so good luck to everybody who joins and the good thing about maxing out our pickaxe and getting above the max level with that one inch here in the game section you can actually see i do have to the um, token merchant maxed out and the jack hammer maxed out and i don't think i have vein miner maxed out but i am working on it and i could actually apply all my tokens into that so 142 levels it is getting pretty expensive to start keep leveling up that enchant but yeah it is definitely worth it it is one of the best enchants i'm pretty sure and we are also working on to increase the max level for our pickaxe because if you take a look the profit enchant is that is the next enchant we are going to be getting and it is at level 250 and i'm pretty sure it is a really really good enchant to actually have so yeah we are definitely going to work on getting that to try to help level up my pickaxe faster i am using the dragon's pick Pick pet which gives me a boost to the pickaxe xp and the special ability gives me some of the blocks mined from the jackhammer and vein miner enchant so it is pretty good for the blocks too and i basically just need blocks for a bunch of challenges and stuff like that so it is very useful and it also i think counts towards the tier pouches and stuff so yeah we're definitely going to work towards this for the extra tokens that it will give us and it's just gonna be very very helpful for us in the previous video i actually went ahead and take a look at this mortar thing so i want to see if i have any other upgrades and it doesn't look like we do we do need to get the challenges up for this one but i don't currently have those like i just need to mine my blocks in for my challenges to actually unlock them so yeah we're definitely working on that and then oh, the ammo quality to activates better enchants and we just need to increase the napalm strike level so we're definitely work towards that too and then for the fire rate we need lottery procs and we are we can't really control that because if you take a look we do have the max level already which is only one so yeah we're definitely going to be working towards that too but we just have to mine in order for that to happen and then for the last one is also blocks mine and that has the chance to fire two shots which are pretty good so yeah that is something we're going to be working towards too and i'm pretty sure that whole mortar thing just helps enchants work and stuff like that like helps and proc so it is honestly a very good thing to to try to go for we've been making some insane progress in the past few videos so yeah we're definitely going to take all of that and we did get like a ton of enchants and stuff so we are just currently grinding we're grinding a ton and just trying to max out our pickaxe and stuff like that that's honestly the main goal is to max out our pickaxe because once we do max that out we're just gonna be getting so many tokens and things like that so we'll be able to do a ton of stuff with that like upgrading the gang enchants and stuff like that so yeah we're just definitely going to try to max out these pickaxes in the next few videos and stuff like that and we are still working towards this tier 20 pouch so akuma did release their skyblock not so long ago and i am kind of interested into it so if you guys do want to go see a series on that make sure to comment down below that you guys would like to see it and i'll be definitely and i'll be definitely interested in getting in starting a series on that because yeah this looks pretty interesting and stuff like that so yeah make sure to try and comment if you guys want to see that we might go ahead and actually put some of our tokens into the prestige fighter enchant because basically this enchant just gives us more gems and we currently need more gems for the shard collector enchant which will give us shards so we can actually get the max enchant level upgrade and right now we currently have like 450,000 gems and we started at like 100k so we are getting a pretty decent amount of gems right now but like we could definitely be getting a ton more if we do actually increase the level for the prestige i think it's prestige finder and prestige merchant i'm pretty sure prestige merchant prestige merchant just gives it a higher chance for prestige finder to proc or just gives you more for prestige finder so it, yeah both of them are pretty good and we but we definitely need to start looking towards both of them if we do want to start getting more gems and stuff like that we go ahead and take a look at our slash challenges or yeah slash challenges if we take a look the current one we have everything unlocked except the we need 25 uh 25 enchanter levels for the lucky enchant we need to mine 2,000 more blocks so that should be pretty easy i think the toughest thing there is probably the lucky enchant because it does cost six trillion tokens per level but from opening crates and stuff like that we should be able to upgrade that pretty fast so yeah i think that's going to be pretty easy and we do need the challenges for some other things like the mortar and just the challenges are just good to have unlocked in general but i think we're going to end things there make sure to like and subscribe for more future videos here on akuma mc and i'll see you in the next one peace out